Yo guys, welcome to today's video. I'm climbing at TCA Church today, aka Undercover Rock. Really cool centre. I'm going to be doing some lead climbing. Today's video is going to be about lead climbing. Um, the idea is to be taking some falls because that's something that I haven't done too much in the train before. I'm going to give that a go because lead climbing is something I really started to put into my training. Um, and I'm going to talk a little about benefits that comes with that. But yeah, time to go get warmed up and have a go at a few of the routes. when I'm climbing on my short arm, purely because the skin is a lot more sensitive than that you would get on your fingers. And it does like tend to burn quite a lot. So a lot of the, the guys in my category will, will do the same. They'll use tape on their arm to reduce the sort of the swelling. Um, everyone does it in their own way, but it 100% helps me, particularly when I'm putting the kind of pressure on it like I do when I'm really climbing. Right guys, I'm all warmed up now. Um, I'm gonna start doing my first routes um, and then I'm gonna be doing some quick exercises with Rob, my b layer today, uh, with the aim of today working towards some falls for the first time because I need to get that mental block out of my head. So I'm gonna start having a go at this pink and we'll go from that. Obviously another key thing for me is that the holds are suitable. I'm going to be clipping in with my left arm supporting me on the wall and therefore it needs to be a, a hold that I can do so with. So reap choosing and, and looking for some more juggy type of holds is quite key for the routes that I choose to do in climbing. I've got my trusty Belair Rob with me and the aim is to start taking some falls. I've definitely got a mental block of taking big falls in lead climbing and today I thought would be the perfect chance to challenge that. One exercise Rob got me doing in order to combat this mental block I had of um, taking falls was a clipping exercise whereby I clip in and then as I get to the next clip, instead of clipping in, I jump off. And then I climb up again, clip into that one, and, it, and take the drop from the next clip. And then just gradually adding more height to it to see how you can adapt to become more mentally comfortable with it. So that really worked to be fair. And you can see as I go through this process, how I start off very shaky with taking a drop and become a lot more comfortable with it. In terms of the mental blocks that I was having approaching these lead routes, I've never been one to be scared of heights, I've always been very comfortable with that. It was more the element of unknown, so when you're falling, 
you don't know where you're falling to. And that's why these exercises that I did with Rob were a perfect way to combat that because it gets it out of your head and, and makes you realize that it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be. Uh, and I think just adding that to part of your like even weekly training schedule, taking some falls, especially if you do a lot of lead climbing is a really, really good idea to do that. So yeah, the exercise that he did with me really helped get that out of my head and as I approached these routes, it wasn't a factor that was holding me back. I was purely focusing on the climbing when I was doing the purple. Right, so I've done some click practice with Rob Mabila, just getting used to the falling element and trying to overcome that mental block a little bit. All of this is preparation for taking some big moves on, on this route here. I have given this route a go before and I know there's some, some big sendy dinos, so I'm gonna give that a shot now and uh, practice the test. So after becoming a member on the GB Power Climbing Squad, I did decide that lead climbing was something that could really benefit me. Even though we don't climb lead routes, it's all on a top rope, the dependency that I have, a lot of the time I will still try and make moves across with my right arm. I want to be able to drop the dependency that, so that I can trust my left arm more. And obviously when I'm lead climbing, I'm just holding onto the wall with my short arm, clipping in with my right. So I'm generating that strength in my left arm and dropping that dependency. If you look at someone like Matthew Phillips, who's a really, really sick climber in my category, he moves through roots super dynamically and he trusts both his arms to make both roots. That's the kind of level I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to, trying to be a bit less static and find some dynamic balance in my, in my climbing. Okay, so those routes I've, I've done before and uh, I managed to do them pretty comfortably in the end. So this last route I'm almost certain is going to be a bit tougher. It's a 6B and there is one bit in particular on the roof that I'm likely to take before that we uh, we want for the purpose of the video here. So um, 
Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna to give that a go now and see if I can find a way to get to the top. Right, that is me done for the day. I've had um, a, a good few attempts on some routes. The purple behind, I didn't get as far as I imagined, um, but the idea was to take some falls and get used to that, and uh, I certainly did that, so I'm really happy. Big shout out to TCA for having me doing this here today. Really cool climbing center in the Bristol area, so check it out if you are in Bristol. And uh, yeah, this is my first video, so if you like what you're seeing, feel free to share and subscribe and I uh, look forward to the next one.